Now, in the 70s, the anarchist counterculture movement known as punk rock was born. And Vancouver and Victoria were really epicenters for the music and the activism. And that lasted for decades. And photographer Dina Goldstein has been there to chronicle the key figures of punk rock. And her exhibit, OG Punk, is on now at the Polygon Gallery. Dina, hello there. Hi, Gloria. And also with us today, Helga Pakasar. She is Polygon's curator. Helga, hello. Hello, Gloria. Okay, so Dina, why did you want to focus your lens on the, on the punk rock icons of our region? Well, these are ailing and aging original punk rockers. Uh, many of them are local musicians and artists and punk devotees. And really, uh, a lot of them are dying down, uh, dying, dying and uh, ailing. And uh, I wanted to get them before I lost the opportunity, like I did with, um, with a Chai Pig, who uh, is uh, Ken Chin, who passed away a couple of years ago uh, during the pandemic. And I, he's really, truly iconic, and I wasn't able to capture him. Unfortunately. Okay. okay, well, that is unfortunate, but this uh, exhibition is on right now. And Helga, when, when Dina talks about this opportunity, what kind of opportunity did this present for Polygon? Well, first of all, it's an opportunity to show Dina Goldstein and her uh, photojournalist approach to subjects in our milieu here, which she's been um, active in for many decades. So mm -hmm. that's a great opportunity. And it also uh, is uh, something, uh, this kind of show uh, is typical of what the Polygon has been doing for years. Uh, we have a long-standing interest in bringing to light uh, aspects of local histories, uh, often histories that are not so well known. We've uh, discovered a lot of uh, photographs that hadn't been previously seen. So we love to work with documentary photography as a powerful tool for offering clues in uh, to our lives. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, so let's take, take us into this punk rock world now. Dina, who are some of the characters that you met? Well, I first met Mad Dog, uh, and he lives beside my studio, and uh, I had been working on my um, archive, my 30-year archive and book, for a year and a half during the pandemic, so I was pretty much isolated, and I really wanted to pick up my camera again. So when I met him, he told me all these wonderful stories about the early 80s and the punk rock scene here in Vancouver, and he offered to introduce me to some key figures. So uh, basically, he introduced me to Raw Punk, Miles Pedersen, Wendy Thirteen, who's been booking um, and promoting punk rock bands here for decades. Uh, and by this time, everybody was vaxxed, and it was safe enough to come back into the studio. Uh, so I started this impromptu series, um, and uh, one led to the other. Wendy connected me with the Victoria crowd, uh, the Dayglo abortions. So I rented a studio there and uh, photographed them all. They all came and had their uh, a reunion. It was a good time for everybody. Well, it sounds like it was you. You, you hit into a really interesting part of, of BC history here, too. And so as you're doing the photo sessions, you asked them to give you kind of a, a favorite memory. What, what came to the forefront? Well, I, they all had so many, so many memories, like too much even to remember. And I can't even re uh, believe that they remember after all the partying that they uh, they took part in. Uh, Miles Pedersen talks about his band, Unnatural si Silence, opening up for Black Flag. Rob Punk remembers the last Ramon show. Doug Donut uh, of Death Sentence uh, has, has daily dangerous adventures to... Um, to remember, and uh, Wendy talks about booking the band The Exploited for her birthday at the Cobalt. Um, one more, Billy Hopeless and his band The Black Halos, they opened up uh, for CBGBs and introduced DOA at the Smiling Buddha. Uh, and he recalls when a mother told him that his music stopped her daughter from committing suicide. And they all remember um, the plaza, which was the Pong Hangout uh, DOA headquarter, and the Smiling uh, Buddha, which was uh, the venue. 
Yeah, and so what do you think, Dina? Do, do you know, what do you think it says about about the the punk movement, and I guess and and our city? You know, we're talking Vancouver, Victoria. That that's so many of these uh, originals that they're they're staying true to their roots. Yes, absolutely. And one of the questions I ask is, uh, "Punk here to stay?" And of course, they all say yes. It never left. It's here to stay, and it's uh, obviously a way of life. Uh, based on the principles of honk, uh, non-conformity, anti-authoritism, anti-corporatism, uh, DIY um, ethic, anti-commercialism, and of course, punk music is central to the whole movement. Sure. Okay. So punk is here to stay. And Helga, what about the OG punk exhibit? Um, how long is that going to be up for? Uh, that will be up until January 3rd, and we will also be having uh, some events uh, that this exhibition generates that you can find out about at the Polygon website. Okay, Helga, Dina, thank you very much. All the best. Enjoy.